Here with my buddy, mechanic Stephen Cox. Here you go, it's been a long day. I'm too tired to say stuff <laughs> properly. And today, tonight, we are talking about military trailers. Because army trailers are the best trailers, and here's why. So I bought this thing a little over a year ago. Uh, fairly cheap. I don't remember off the top of my head what I paid for. I think it was like 750 or something, maybe like 900 bucks. And it came with like the tarp and the canopy and these things and some other stuff. And uh, this thing has been awesome. I've had 3,500 pounds of steel in the back of it. Not that that's recommended. Uh, aside from that, it's great because it's really heavy duty. It's really well made. And there's been times when I've welded something up for a customer and I'll just throw like, I don't know, a thousand pounds worth of bulk stuff in here. And you don't have to worry about scratching it. You don't have to worry about really hardly anything with it. It's literally made for, for military use. And, uh, and it just plain works. Yeah, it's got surge brakes on it, so it's got functional trailer brakes and no wiring needed in your vehicle and lights and everything. And uh, every time I would see Steven here, I'd start off the conversation with like, Hey Steven, do you know why I'm cooler than you? Why? Because I have an army trailer. Hur -hur -hur. I wouldn't actually, Screw but... you, Chucky. <laughs> then I went home and cried myself to sleep. <laughs> every night. But he bought himself an army trailer. You want to show off your new, your yeah. new addition? Yeah, my trailer is like a 4x8, and it's really handy, except you can't actually fit a 4x8 sheet or whatever in there, because, you know, it's made out of that, so it's like 47 and a half inches wide, but Steve's is uh, much bigger than mine, and that's not something I'm used to saying. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually measured the inside, and uh, when I bought this one, I didn't realize this one was any different than the one you have. I thought it was the same one, and then we got it here, and I was like, I think this thing's bigger than the one Chucky's got. That's like my life goal was to <laughs> have something bigger than Chucky's. <laughs> YouTube channel trailers. We're not talking about other stuff. No, definitely not. But it's not. It's. I, I paid five hundred dollars for the trailer, so. Dude. Yeah, man. and obviously it needs work, you know, to make it you know pristine or whatever. But for what I use it for, this is perfect. Yeah, it. It needs work to be attractive, but man, looking at this thing, it looks really solid. I mean, yeah, the. It's got like three different colors of paint on it and it could use a date with the sandblaster, but there's not actually any serious rust. I don't see a single <laughs> rust hole in this entire thing. Now, and a little bit on this front left corner. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, okay, well still though. I'm not you know, I'm not even gonna fix it. No, I mean it's it's yeah, a work vehicle. Oh yeah. I listen so, uh, to your cool I called story. a day and to rent a trailer to go from here down to San Antonio where I live is about three hundred and forty bucks. You know, so it's like, I looked on Craigslist, this is 500, so $150 more, I get a trailer. Go to equipment sometimes, and I gotta get great big giant cylinders. This thing is, yeah. it's perfect. See, that's the thing, Steve, he's not a regular mechanic. He's a heavy equipment mechanic. So that means heavy stuff, often in fields and and whatnot. And uh, you see them around if you look for them. They're, they're not that common, you don't, see, you don't see them every day. But as I'm sure Steven can attest to, if you keep an eye out for them, you do see the things, and if you make an attempt oh, to yeah. buy one, you can probably find two or three to choose from. Yeah, and then um, I'm like, I've looked at these military trailers from Craigslist for years and just never really had the, the reason or the opportunity to buy one. And this time I was like, you know what? I'm not spending 350 bucks on renting a stupid trailer when <laughs> I've, I've needed a trailer so many times. Four by eight sheets that fit right there. Or mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like I said when I built mine, I don't want to say because it, it sounds really like arrogant and narcissistic and everything, but if I built a trailer this style, I would be very pleased with myself if it came out as well as what these army trailers are built. Yeah. The other thing, you know, just the axle I put under that 5x10 that I built a while ago, my regular viewers saw that, that thing alone cost about as much as that army trailer and this one combined. I mean, the axles on these things are huge. Uh, mine, at least, it's a 7,000 pound capacity axle, eight lug wheels, and... Uh, this is an 18 wheeler axle. I know that because of the, uh, the lug nuts on them are... Uh, what 33 millimeters. Yeah, it's got this, the huge old, what do you say these are called, like bud rims? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's got the old locking rim rims. It's just like what's on the dump truck and on my uh, another one of my projects, which YouTube doesn't really know much about yet. Now that's the downside. Uh, yeah, tube type 900 by 20 tires right there. That's the downside. 
This is the one. This is the way mine's cooler than yours, Steve. When mine needs a tire, I can just go to the local tire yeah. shop and get something used. You're gonna have to like order these on the internet, and I know what this is like. They cost between two and three hundred dollars a piece. I put two on the back. Uh, I think two on the back of that truck, and uh, they cost two to three hundred bucks a piece, and then like fifty plus dollars to have them installed once you find somewhere that installs them. But luckily, on military auctions and stuff. You can find these tires that have never been installed and you can buy like five or six of them at a time for a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, totally. If you got They're the hookups. They're 20 years old, but yeah. I don't care. Especially, you know, how much? How many miles are you really going to put on this thing? Thousands. Ah, okay, well, that's fine. But on mine... <laughs> <laughs> I travel all over Texas. I say I use it often and that's maybe like a couple times a month, maybe a uh, hundred miles round trip at absolute most per use. And that doesn't add up to that many miles over the course of a year. Oh, I want to add uh, the guy who bought it. I bought it from Dan and his son Tyler. Met them today. Um, they recognized me from Chucky's videos. And <laughs> Hi guys, cool. thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the trailer. Um, it'll be a great trailer. And uh, yeah. I know you're kind of worried about the. Uh, he told me he's like, man, he bought it. They loaded it on a, another, another trailer because he bought a bunch of stuff from an auction, towed it to his house, dropped it. That's all he knows about the trailer. So he was like, he. he <laughs> Reiterated the fact he doesn't, he's never pulled it, doesn't know. So I was like, oh, it's cool, man. I mean, I'll, you know, I know what I'm getting is $500. If it breaks down on the way to San Antonio, I'll just leave it on the side of the road. Mm hmm. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, no, there's some great people out there. And, like the goats. and it seems goat approved. They're trying to see if there's anything edible on it. And <laughs> those friggin' spring packs down there. When was the last time you all saw a one and a half ton? one and a half ton trailer with overload springs on it that's uh that's great i'm happy for you steve this is great i really like my army trailer i think you'll like this thing i think so and uh for everybody who's watched my videos and seen that thing and was curious about it yeah two thumbs up couldn't recommend one of these things any more highly well you got anything else to add no that's it man all thanks right. for watching yeah no problem let's get your motor loaded up let's let's measure this thing because the curiosity is great just over nine feet. Nine feet, one inch. 54 inches between the fender ears. And 73 and three quarters. That a ways. It's a good sized trailer, man. So nine feet by uh, what, six and a half? Basically with like four and a half between the fenders or something. That's like six, eight. Maybe. 